Meantime, Pope Francis made an emotional visit this morning to the Nazi concentration camp in Auschwitz. He toured the complex where more than a million people were killed. CBS 2's Seth Doan is traveling with the Pope in Poland. The Pope walked alone through that infamous gate at Auschwitz. His white vestments, a sharp contrast to the fences and barbed wire of this place. For nearly 15 minutes, he sat in silent prayer. The pontiff then prayed again in the blackened prison cell where Catholic Saint Maximilian Kolbe volunteered his life to save another. At nearby Birkenau, survivors, including 90 year old Marian Tursky, gathered to watch the Pope. You're Jewish, she's a Christian leader. So what? We, but we both are human beings. The Holocaust was not only a Jewish tragedy, it was a European tragedy. The tragedy of mankind. This is not the first time a pope has traveled here to Auschwitz. Pope John Paul II came, as did Pope Benedict. Pope Francis decided instead of making some major speech here, he would instead remain silent. There's a Latin proverb, qui tacet clamat. It is who is silent, he cries, he shouts, he screams. Silence displays even stronger than words. The Pope's only words were those he wrote down in the guest book. Lord, forgive us for so much cruelty. Seth Doan, CBS News, Krakow, Poland.